All right, so now we're dealing with scatter plots, and today we're going to talk about the line of best fit. So when we're talking about best fit, we're talking about, see all those dots here on the scatter plot? They're all kind of all over the place. And the line of best fit basically gives us the average, or if I had to give it like one solid kind of like line or barometer, if you will, um, to see where the dots were like, if I could put the dots and like give them an average, where would that line be? All right, so I'm going to put a line here. And it looks like if I were to make a line of best fit, it would go somewhere about there, okay? Uh, that's actually not really good. So let's take a look here for a second. So notice where I put that line. That line, you want it to be in the middle or right in between all the dots. And so you kind of want to put it at a place where it's like half and half. Half the dots are above the line, half the dots are below the line. So you notice that the line I just put down there's like four or five dots above it, and then there's a lot more below. There's like seven. So let's try that again. If I were to redo this, I would do it more like right here. What do you say about that? So again, there's one, two, three, four, five above, one, two, three, four, five, six below, but there's also one right there. So that's okay. That would be okay. So again, you want the dots to kind of be right in the middle of all the action, okay? So if I were to try it one more time, I would probably do it like this. Something like that. And I'd probably extend this line a little bit more so we can see the, uh, it touched the y-axis here. So there we go. There we go. All right. So we'll say that's my line of best fit. All right. So... Again, it's somewhere right in between, kind of in the middle of everything that's happening. So that's part A, draw the line of best fit. Good. All right, part two, use your trend line to predict the grade of a student who spends three hours studying. So what we do, we come up from three hours studying, which is right here in between two and four. So using our line, then we come over here. And so if, we, if a student spent three hours studying, it looks like they would get about a 70%, or sev we'll assume their percents, even though it just says 70, so we'll say 70%. Again, using our line, because we use the line of best fit, it's easier to make predictions, all right, and then describe the correlation of data. Again, look at my line of best fit. Do you see that it's going upwards? And upwards means positive. All right, so... For this graph, again, the only thing you really need to do, the hardest part, the one we're learning today, is the line of best fit. You pick a place where it kind of is right in the middle of all your dots. And again, you kind of want to have it half and half, a half above, half below, and then you can use it to make some predictions about your data. So there you go.